Me not getting this loan is a problem. Explain to my daughter why she has to go to school in the gangbang school district. Why do you want me to get murdered? Murdered. Murdered! I'm sending you to San Quentin? Help me to not be someone's bitch. I could pay you. He thinks I went to prison. You are not exactly a thug. Bitch, don't walk away from me. <laughs> Get hard. We're gonna go get you some protection on the inside. Who the hell are you? I don't think they've ever seen a white person before. That is not the problem. Wait, it R. Hello, I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. A comedian who has risen to prominence in the last few years is definitely Kevin Hart. And there's a very good reason for that. The man is absolutely hysterical. However, that doesn't mean his movies are always gonna be that great. And as, as shown by today's film, Get Hard. Get Hard is a story about a CEO, played by Will Ferrell, who gets wrongfully convicted of embezzlement and is sentenced to 10 years in San Quentin. Knowing he'll never survive in the joint, Ferrell turns to Kevin Hart to teach him how to survive in prison. Ferrell assumes that Hart went to prison for a number of reasons, but he's really just an average Joe down on his luck and is only agreeing to this because Ferrell is paying him $30,000. Hilarious hijinks ensue. This movie has plenty of potential, but... It's really just okay. Not to say it's bad, it's just not nearly as funny as it could have been. Farrell and Hart have incredible chemistry together, and we all know they're absolutely hilarious in other movies. But talented performers can only do so much on their own. The direction and writing in this movie are passable, but nothing spectacular, and that will inevitably drag down most any actor's performance, at least somewhat. The plot of this movie is really repetitive and predictable. It's just scene after scene of Hart training Farrell to survive in prison and then him screwing it up in hilarious fashion, and really not that much else. They try to throw in a plot about who really did embezzle all that money, but it's really put on the back burner and way too cliche to be that surprising or entertaining. It serves its purpose, like the rest of the film, but overall it's pretty weak. Overall, this is a mildly entertaining movie, if only for Farrell and Hart's performances. But that's enough for me. If it's not enough for you, stay away from this movie. If it is enough for you, I can definitely give this movie a high small screen rating. I'm the Universal Critic, I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. Goodbye. Won't you follow me into the jungle?